Hello everyone, I'm Chester44 and welcome to this Let's Play of Avernum 4. Last episode, we found our way through the tunnel that we happen to know of located down in here and made it up towards the northwestern tunnels a bit. We killed some Venati right over here guarding a bridge, killed some lizards over here, killed an eye beast located pretty much right over here along with a couple of slaves he had, and found a mage over here who was kind enough to actually be able to make knowledge brews for us. And in order to make a knowledge brew, you need one of every single herb. We had so many of them, we were able to make 20 knowledge brews. And we can still make another six if we really wanted. It was fantastic. Oh, I loved it. Now... Let's go into Koth's lair, see what we can do here. The obelisk to the side of the ruined path clearly marks who used to control this place. These ruins once belonged to the dragon Koth. Koth was a legendary recluse, renowned for his libraries and the depth of his knowledge. Then the Empire invaded and took control of all these caverns. After the war was over and the enemy soldiers left, Koth left too, presumably to get revenge on the Empire. He hasn't been heard from since. The ruins of his lair remain, however. Since then, these caves have probably served as home to a variety of wandering monsters. You can see their bones, tracks, and other leavings all over the ground ahead. You can also hear them. The upper level seems to have a considerable chitrek infestation. You can hear their chittering through the mists ahead. This is the domain of the mighty Koth. He claims it for the span of his life. Those who intrude and violate his possessions will be made to suffer. And we have a uh, shit rack problem. Oh no. You hear hissing and clicking sounds coming from all around you. I think I remember this. I remember doing this long ago. There was. It's easy. You get completely overwhelmed by shit racks here. They're everywhere. Okay. Big healing. Not a you've got to be kidding me. Okay. I think I'm going to have to reload here. Yeah. I'm going to reload. Just a sec. Reloading. Yes, I actually remember this from when I played th from when I played this game long ago. Uh, there are bits and pieces that I do remember, and what I remember from this is that this is ridiculously hard. You get overwhelmed. Oh dear, here they come. Crap. Okay, you should have something to cast. Rod of Alacrity. Yeah, that works. Do you actually have anything else that could help? No. Well, here they come. Okay. Well, we killed one of them. See how we can do here. That was useless. That was also surprisingly useless. And getting a little overwhelmed. Already, anyway. Okay, will this arcane blow work? Oh dear. No, no, not the mage again. God damn it. This is ridiculous. And they just keep coming, it too. It never ends. It really never ends. Okay. 
Okay. I'm going to reload again. Okay. This is not going to be easy in any way. I was right from what I remember. This is ridiculously hard and ridiculously tough. Okay. So, here's the idea. Cast everything. Actually, better idea. Now, a haste. Okay. Now wait for them all to come to us. Okay, our summons are going to distract them a bit. That's fine. That'll make things at least a little easier to deal with. Did we really lose that haste already? That's ridiculous. Okay, fine. Okay, there should be something we can cast. Maybe control foe will do something good. Yeah, we controlled one of the chit racks. That might help a bit. Oh, great. Oh god damn it! No! They go after whoever is the last one to do damage. We lost our healer already. God damn it. Reloading. Okay, once again, this is going to be annoying. Okay. Once again, let's try better idea. Let's cast all these spells. It should help out a lot. We are going to run out of energy very soon, though. Okay, cast all these spells. Okay. And here they come. And here they are. Our mages probably shouldn't do as much. The stun! That's what we should do. The stun. That'll help immensely, I think. Seriously, they're actually resistant to the, to the charm spell? That's... that's not good. Okay, one of them got charmed, at least. Alright, uh, Strong Days... Surprisingly helped. Okay. That one we have charmed is going to help out a lot. Okay, that charmed one is going to help out a lot. There's more coming in. Okay, that one's dead. Uh, see if you can charm another one. There you go. Nothing. There you go. Excellent. This is going to make it a lot easier. They'll kill each other.
That was surprising. That worked way better than I expected. I think we might actually survive this. Okay, stay back here. Okay, I think we actually have this. Yeah, we have this. Only one of these chit racks is left. Okay, good. Jeez. There we go. Okay, made it. Christ. I knew that was tough. But thankfully, thanks to various control spells, we were able to get through it. And there's more chit rack over there, I can see. Okay. Well, you know what? You know what else? I am going to save here just to make sure we don't have to go through that again. Alright, let's see here. And we got more chit rack here to deal with. And they're warped. Goody. Cold is effective. So is fire. Hmm. All right. And we still have those uh, extra spells that are going to be very useful. I hope we don't end up facing another swarm of chit racks. That would be terrible if we did. Not something I'd want to deal with. Come on, come out of there. There you go. It's always interesting how these chit racks are able to detect when you're about to come, when you're stepping up to them and then immediately hatch like they're suddenly fully formed and ready to attack. Oh yeah, they were waiting to be born until you walked by every single time. It's very strange. Oh, just died. Thank you. Oh, dear. I think we're going to have to deal with more. Great. Okay. Uh, let's get the spells cast again. I mean, that's probably not overly needed, but I'm going to do it anyway. Yep, more hissing and clicking. Alright. Summon some assistance, you guys. Here they come. See if you can charm. There you go. That's one charmed. Any others that come close will charm. Yeah, there's a swarm coming in. Okay. See if you can charm another one. There you go. That was not very effective. But this... Oh, that's beautiful. Uh-oh. Okay, there we go. Now we can just let them kill each other. This is how it should be. This makes it a lot easier. They're distracted and not going after us. Okay, you two do nothing. Let the chit racks kill each other. Oh, there's another one. 
Okay, you two go after that one. There you go. It's actually terrified! Oh, that is beautiful. Excellent. Oh, there's another one. Got that one. Oh boy, that one re that one lost the uh, control we had for it. And it's terrified. Perfect. Beautiful. That one's also lost control, but I think we got this at last. Okay. We got it. Good. Bloody shit racks. Okay. At least it's taken. You hear hissing again? Are you kidding? There's more? Okay, at least we don't have to worry about them again here. The position we're in, they're not going to be able to get to us. So that's good, at least. They'll only be able to fight our melee fighters. I can deal with that. I'm happy with that. This we can deal with. This is fine. Nova, you are skilled. <laughs> Liren, not as skilled. Blessing is useful. Help out a bit there. Actually starting to lose out on uh, health a bit. Especially Liren. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Big healing for Liren now. Not as much as I'd like. You do nothing, because that one's going to charge over to us right now, as I expected. Right. Provide a bit of haste for our healer, please. Thank you. She needs to get Liren healed better. That works. Okay. Surprisingly, despite being taken completely by surprise, this is working. Probably should have used the poison. Actually, I don't think the poison is even really working. Okay. Uh, shielding and more healing. Yeah, the, I don't think the healing is even working. Jeez, Laren. Hit harder. This is taking a while, but we are killing him. Okay, that one's finally dead. Nice job, Liren. There's got to be another one coming soon.
maybe not. Couldn't only be those. Could it? There has to be another one. Yeah, there it is. Okay, fine. Run around. I'm pretty sure it's only the four. I think we got this. I did not expect a third wave of chit racks. But at least we have this. There we go. There's got to be a lower floor to this place. Okay. There we go. Now what does this say? This obelisk is covered with a strange curving script. You can't understand it. Makes sense. The chitrex are much quieter now. You have killed most of their number. They have hopefully learned that it is wise to leave you alone. And those are stairs heading downwards. You know what? We've got a lot of loot on us. Instead of going right down there right now, I am going to run all the way back. I did not expect to find that there. I'm going to run all the way back, regain our energy, and sell the various loot we have. Because, why the hell not? Also, I don't want to go down there when we only have, like, five minutes left. Ah, oh, Jesus. Why are there rats here? There should not be. We killed everything here. The rats are coming out of the walls. It doesn't make sense. Actually, you know what? No, no, we'll do it. We'll get back the energy we can. Will you just die? I don't care about you. You're pathetic, weak, pointless. And dead. You know what, on second thought, I think we can keep going. Sure, he's got a lot of... He, he's got... He's got... He can carry more. He can carry more. She can carry him more, I mean, Nova. Alright, so, next episode, we'll go down into the lair of Koth and investigate to see what we can find and what we can do. That'll be in the next episode. So, until then, I'm Chester44, that is Nova, Lear, and John, and Pyrrha. This has been an Avernum 4 Let's Play, and I shall see you all next time.